Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. My name is Catherine Lyle and I'm from Integrated Men's Health in Melbourne in Bomb Beach. Just by the beach, it's amazing. I'm a men's health and porn addiction specialist and today we're going to talk about how education is vital for this planet to move forward. There is a lot of low vibrational activities and behaviors going on with men and teens in everyday life, which is having a huge ripple effect on the rest of us. So today we're going to kick the th or hit the theory I didn't know out of the park. You don't know what you don't know and I get that and that part is correct, but it's your responsibility to know, isn't it? So most of you wouldn't have guessed that you have a porn addiction um, or that there is such a thing as porn addiction. You definitely don't see yourself as addicted or clarify yourself as an addict. but it's 97% of men. So let's explain that a little bit. Porn addiction is classified as anyone watching porn regularly. Then, then regularly is classified as once a month or more. That shocks a lot of people. This comes from a number of sources. One of them is textbook, classic textbook that states that addiction is classified as something you cannot go without over a month period. And in my experience in my sessions and in my knowledge and research, that um, I've come up with the same conclusion, basically. Um, for example, I have a 71 year old client who watches porn once a month, but he only masturbates once a month. He cannot masturbate without it because he has erection issues when he does that. He has to watch porn to get aroused and to get erect and stay erect, and he cannot orgasm without it either. He's been doing that for 58 years. So in fact, it's been actually more frequent in the past than once a month. So he argues with me um, that he doesn't have a porn addiction, um, but he obviously does. So we look at the term, how long you've actually been watching porn in your life. Um, we, off we look at how often you're watching it and then the variables around that activity. We also look at the impact it's having on your life, but that's not the part that defines the addiction, contrary to other professionals' beliefs. And this is where the problem comes in. Other psychologists and professionals and therapists, academics, will say that it's only an addiction um, if it starts to affect your life in a negative way. And most of the men don't even know how this is affecting them all. So. Um, they don't understand why it's happening. They don't flag it as an issue. Uh, the brain damage for starters, they would not know about and they don't understand the links between the brain damage and the mental health issues um, and the suicide. So although they have all of the symptoms of porn addiction, they have not associated the cause um, being porn. Society hasn't even flagged it as an issue up until now, right? Although Google is full of white coat studies and brain scans, no one has filtered it down to the people. The erectile dysfunction clinics and doctors are still blaming smoking, age and weight. It's just ridiculous. But over 90% of men that watch porn have erectile dysfunction. It's actually higher in my clinic. Um, the men don't understand the impact, as we said, that this is having on their bodies, on their minds, on their behaviors. They don't tell their mates, they don't ask, their dicks don't work, but they're too afraid to seek advice. The women, they have no idea how much this is affecting the men um, or their relationships and they're, or they're like afraid to address it in fear of feeling insecure or needy or nagging. Even though they do feel inadequate and hurt by this destructive behavior, they're still not speaking out and having that boundary. And I'll be helping women with that soon. Sexual dysfunction, mental health issues, no sexual energy, disconnected sex, inappropriate behaviors, brain damage, um, erection issues, premature ejaculation, sexual violence, relationship breakdowns, lack of emotional expression, communication breakdowns, um, other addictions, secrecy and shame, sex addiction, domestic violence, suicidal men. <laughs> but you didn't know, right? And now you do. You can't pretend anymore. I'll pop the link to my new book, What No One Told You About Pornography, in the comments below, uh, and you can start your own research yourself. Some men have given up porn just from reading this book. It's really, really powerful. So thank you all for watching. See you soon.